I got for selling me clothes, tokens for selling me blame. If ever I list for the soldier again, devil shall be me, sergeant. carving two years and just taught himself how to do it. Oh, this is unreal. Just over there. He's just teaching a class at the moment. Instagram DLC, ladies and gents. Yep, you're welcome to take yep. one of his cards. Cards, I'll just make sure, obviously, no, Joel's name. His Instagram account's lovely because you can actually follow the journey from his very first cards through to the last one. So that's Instagram, uh, Joel. Which he did two years ago. Make sure I'll get that in. Um, through to the ones he's currently doing, and he shows works in oh. progress shots and things. Oh. Absolutely stunning. Again, here we go then. Do it like that. So, GilesNewman.com. Let's get a bit of focus. Instagram. Giles underscore underscore Newman. Newman, yeah. An email address. Stunning work. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
show you this, but when I have to explain to him what paracord is. Okay, mate, no problem. I'll, I'll have a word with him and see what you can do. All right, Dave. Have a nice day, mate. Ta-da. Mummy catching you there, sir, did you? No, no, no. T total stranger to me, total stranger to me, don't know him at all. <laughs> Take care. I see a lake though, I keep looking out for Pete Mine Wiseman. <laughs> I mean, if he was here, he'd be like proper on there, wouldn't he? But it really is a really nice, nice show. Properly rounded and that, if that makes sense. Entertainment, all the free demos and stuff. Uh, it's, apart from the food's a bit expensive, I'll buy some burger. A burger's a burger, it ain't eight quid, but you know, that's the only moan I've got. But then I'm a tight one, ain't I? Um, It's not like a money grabbing show. Popping an eight pound burger. <laughs> but again, I'm just trying not to actually get anybody's kids on the show. But yes, I think there's a little bit of everything. For you. But ladies and gents, uh, David Perr is my technical advisor. Has um, got himself a nice little spanking tent. He did a swap on this, a straight swap, didn't you? Yeah, straight yeah, swap. Yeah. yeah. This is worth in the region of 500 quid. Yeah, well, with the ground sheets, near yeah. 600 pounds, yeah, with yeah. the footprint. Huh? Fair enough, mate. It's an old hilly bird. That's right. It took you 30 seconds, well... I knew I caught one up before. It went no. pretty quick, didn't it? It did, and yeah. there's nothing to it, mate. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's nicely well made. Oh, it's well, for that sort of money, you should always have, wouldn't you? Yeah, no, but yeah, I'm... Yeah. yeah. There's your rear vent there, so we can shut it up. Yeah. Because it might move the wheel Because it's 1.5 kilograms. So it's quite lightweight, yeah. Yeah. It's small as well, in the bag small. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, I must be put the actual tent in a dry bag and uh, put the poles slot separate if I was going to use it as, you know. Yeah. Well, I'll make your a, a, a little bag for the pole. Well, yeah, you can do it as well, yeah, mate, but yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, so, just yeah. a little little bit of a... Uh, I like to have all my pegs separate, for, especially when you're talking about the lightweight nylons mm. and that, because mm. all you've got to do is nick it and then you... I've never had a tent where I can actually... Uh, um, Mm. 
Bloody well made, mate. Sideways, and I can wake up and just open up. Yeah. And have and some that, breakfast. that footprint goes underneath everything, doesn't it? Yeah. That's yeah. the idea of yeah. a footprint, mate. Yeah. Which clips on, but yeah. it's, um, it's full bread, I think. This is dark, uh, uh, you know, a manly dark green. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. not like olive, but you know, it's, yeah. it's nice, mate, isn't it? It's nice. It's black and green. Yeah, I do like the way they tension that out, right, mate? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, a nice bit of kit, sir. Very nice. So I've had a, a few significant purchases. Yeah, huh? you have done all right. You know, it's just one of your better ones, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, very nice, mate. Yeah, no, it looks good, doesn't it? It's pretty. Apart from, obviously, the bloke used it about once or twice, you said. It's, um, yeah. Well, it, unless you were told otherwise, mate, you'd think it was new. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a straight swap. Dibble. A true dibble, sir. Well, it's only like I had the TP and it'll only be sitting in the uh, shed for like, garage for like, you know, whenever, so. Well, that's what you wanted, isn't it? It's what no, it's yeah, all about. This is going to get used. Right? Yeah, that's, just, that's what you want, yeah. Obviously, here we see uh, David, my technical advisor. Standard operational procedure, feeding his face. Got me done, sir. Feeding your face. Mike, feeding his face. Nice with a steak you got there, sir. Mm. Steak, potatoes, and peas. Very posh. Very, very posh. But obviously, we're just going to do a little bit of pre packing up, aren't we? Mm. And uh, ready for the off tomorrow, mate. It's been a good show, in it? I've really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed and uh, I've had a few little, little results, mate. It's gone too quick after the travel, not it? I, I've got to say, mate, it do feel like it's been a while, you know? Yeah, I've had a good sort of... Uh, well, we come down on a Wednesday, mate, didn't we? Um, I, I was wrong, because they wouldn't let us in before 10 o'clock. So we were, like, proper forced to go down that local the Dolphin or whatever it was, mate, wasn't it? it just, yeah. Let some spend some money in a local, you know, no, well, our house, you know? But I couldn't believe it. you said to that bar, mate, two parts of titlies, please. I just, I was, I just couldn't, couldn't believe it, mate. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's been a good crack. It has been a good crack, mate, isn't it? Yeah, it, even in entertainment, it's been quite good, mate. I caught a bit of that, yeah. including the... Yeah, I got a little bit broke back mountain towards the end, and I just thought, blimey, turn the camera off pretty quick. <laughs> I've got no excuse, mate, because I, w I didn't really partake of the alcohol too much. I just had a little... Well, that's even scarier. Mm. <laughs> you know, if you'd have had alcohol, I could say, all right, he's had a few drinks. But actually being sober and actually acting the way you did... No, mate, well, it's just getting in with the mood, getting in with the mood, you know, joining in with the crowd, going with the flow, you know, adding to the entertainment. Yeah, no, you're right, lucky I didn't get arrested, but, you know, for... <laughs> Indecent exposure, or whatever they call it these days. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, but I must admit, oh, that's my good lady just sending me back a message. So I've got uh, a smock there, a SSS smock, and a uh, nice pair of kegs, uh, a chair, Reuben's tarp, all for £105, mate. So I've got a full suit, if that makes sense. And that smock we know is worth a bit of money because uh, I remade it. Um, obviously, I told Mrs. Tightwood it's not a sm it's not a jacket. It's a high capacity summer shirt. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I won't tell you what her reply was because it's like proper rude. Um, <laughs> but for 105 pound, I've got a shelter, seat, and a full set of clothing there, mate. It's not too bad. You've had some bl bloody lovely dibbles, though, mate, haven't you? What do you reckon is your best one? You bought that mess kit as well, didn't you? Oh, yeah, like yeah. Yeah, a few bits, mate, yeah. So enough yeah, to eat with. Yeah, that's self-sufficient, isn't it? That old yeah. Russian mess kit, eight quid. Yeah. Can't knock that. Because I reckon if somebody was to design a water bottle that would fit snugly inside the Swedish uh, mess kit, yeah. earn a lot of money, mate. Earn a lot of money, especially if it had a little bell handle on it. Just like that Russian one. Mm. That way you've got your... 
you know, your cooker and, and your water. What, a, what, what an efficient way to carry stuff anyway. And if I had any metal working schools, I'd have done one, mate. But anyway, don't think I'll be doing much filming in the morning. But I want to click in, and it's always nice to see you there, Mike. Mm. Bit of a chill out, look at Mike. Mike all his posh out with kit and oh, it's all. It's getting very high tech there, Mike. But yes, yeah, so um, as I film something else, ladies and gents, from the Wilderness Gathering 2017, goodbye, take care, and thanks for watching. Bye.